It is me, the world's okayest writer, and I am here to make a quick video about Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course. In 2022, is it worth the money? Hi, it's me, Roland. Uh, if you're not familiar, I am the author of 29 full-length novels, which I've self-published. I've sold over 67,000 copies of those novels. I've reached 320,000 readers on Kindle Unlimited, and I have made over $275,000 in royalties. And I make no secret of the fact that I credit a lot of this success to Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course. I, I am a student of that course, I took it in 2015, and even though it wasn't until 2018 that I published my first bestseller and things really started moving for me, the information I got from that course in 2015 was instrumental in helping build the foundation for what would eventually become my self-publishing career. Now, every year, uh, the course gets opened up for a very limited period. It's opening up today at 10 p.m. UK time. And certain things have been updated, I'm sure. Certain things are the same as last year. The big question that everybody has that a lot of people ask me about is, Roland, you took this course. Is it worth the money? And, you know, some years I've not necessarily been as glowing about Mark Dawson's course as I have in other years. But I'll tell you this for free. In 2022, the landscape of self-publishing is very, very different to how it was when I got started. And perhaps the, the biggest part of that is the fact that now Amazon has become a pay-to-play marketplace. If you are not advertising your books, they are basically not getting seen. And this has been demonstrated through my own experiences and also the experiences of a lot of other authors that I've worked with. It was very, very possible back in 2015 to write a book that was in an appropriate niche that, that appealed to people and have it seen by enough people to become sort of viral on its own. And then if you were able to write books on a fairly rapid schedule and release those, you could build an entire career without ever doing any advertising. Those days, however, are long, long gone. Advertising on Amazon has now like taken up, I would say, 60% of each product page with ads trying to drive people off your book onto somebody else's book. Um, on Facebook, you can probably see just rows upon rows of ads everywhere. TikTok's got into advertising. LinkedIn has got into advertising. People are advertising on Twitter, on Pinterest. It seems everybody wants a little piece of the action. And the question is, where do you even get started? And I think for me, when I originally took the Mark Dawson's uh, Ads for Authors course, it was really helpful for me because it did give me a place to get started. And um, certain things that I learned through that, like how to advertise, how to build lookalike audiences and how to manage your mailing list to get certain bits of information which you can use to, to put together your Facebook advertising, those are just such, such valuable things. Um, the challenge these days, of course, though, is that not only has advertising become more pervasive, it is now much more competitive than ever before. Um, and it's really, to me, showing that, you know, advertising has become an essential part of any self-published author's um, strategy to success. But it's become something that you have to learn and spend a fair amount of time learning because it's not just a case of throwing money at advertising and generating profit in book sales. The biggest thing to me uh, about advertising is that it's not easy. And you can do a course like Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course, and you will still struggle to find your groove, make um, your mark, and actually start selling books at a point that you make money. And you might never get there. Um, Mark Dawson's course is fantastic for telling you the instructions about what you need to do. And he's been a, a lot better about focusing on this particular issue. But at the end of the day, what makes or breaks your career as a self-published author is having a book that people want to buy. It doesn't matter how good you are at advertising. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on advertising. If people don't want to buy your book, they're not going to buy your book. And... When it comes to advertising, you might find that people do buy your book, but not enough of them want to buy your book to make the money that you're spending on advertising profitable. And so you're losing money. You are getting people reading a book, but it is not cost effective. So therefore, I think before you 
invest in Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course. You need to look very, very hard at your book or your books and say to yourself, okay, is this the stuff that people are going to go out of the way to buy? If you throw your book cover in front of somebody on Facebook or the, the book cover appears on another product page on advertising on Amazon, is what you are offering good enough compared to all of the other competing products to make people click on it and make people click purchase. And it is a really, really jagged pill to swallow. Um, as I said, it was four years after I took the Ads for Authors course before I published my first bestseller. And it was actually, I'd already written and published 11 full length books before it hit that point. And I was having a certain amount of success up until that point not enough to support my family or anything but when i managed to get that the formula together the cover the blurb the concept everything and have a book that that captured people's imaginations that's when the game changed so before investing the money in mark dawson's ads for authors course take a really really long serious look at your book and say is this ready for prime time if i throw money at advertising this book is it going to do what I need it to do, and that is get people to click buy now. And the second thing you've got to think up about advertising is, as I said earlier, sometimes you can advertise and convince people to buy your books, but you can't convince enough of them to buy your books to make your advertising profitable. And I think this is a situation that authors who only have one or two books uh, published are going to face. It is actually pretty difficult to make a profit advertising books um, on Facebook or advertising on Amazon if you've only got one book to sell. It's because books are generally such a low margin product. Um, yeah, it's great, I get 70% royalty on the books that I publish on Amazon, but when you're talking about a $5 book, that's like $3.50 in royalty. So you've got to be able to sell at least one book within $3.50 of advertising money spent. and that's actually quite tough. That's actually quite tough even for really well-established authors. So if you've got one or two books, you are playing a difficult game. For an author like me, I've got a, a series of 12 novels in my Motorcycle Romance series. Um, that's great because if I can get somebody to buy the first book in that series, hopefully I can do my advertising in a way that makes that purchase profitable to me. But if I can get somebody hooked on book one and then they read book two, if they purchase that book or they read through it on Kindle Unlimited, I get all of the royalties for that for free because I'd spent the money advertising book one. And then maybe they move on to book three, maybe they move on to book four. There's going to be a percentage of them and go all the way through to uh, the 12th book in the series. And all of those page reads, all of those, those costs up until that point, have cost me nothing because all I need to do is get them hooked on that first book. So if you have a, a catalog of books like I do, advertising becomes a much, much more viable proposition because just attracting somebody into your little catalog of books then gives them so many more opportunities to go and read more. So yeah, not only do you have to have a book people want to buy, but it really, really helps if you've got several books that people want to buy. The more books, the better. So I would again be hesitant on buying Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course if you don't have like a huge catalogue of books. That being said, um, you know, if you plan on writing more, if you plan on continuing to write and publish books, yeah, get started, learn all you can. Because the other criticism that a lot of people have about Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course, which you can't really call a criticism, is the fact that it's bloody big. There is a lot of information to go through. And that's wonderful. That means it provides a huge ton of value for your investment. But it's also like taking a college course. And um, you have to be really disciplined about going through each module. So if you are continuing to write and you have dreams of, of writing a, a series of books that hopefully will be viable to advertise, then yeah, buy Mark Dawson's course uh, and start going through it right now because hopefully you will be learning all of those things as you're working and it'll put you in a good situation when you are ready to actually invest the, the time, effort and money into advertising your books. So there we go. That's the first video that I've got on Mark Dawson's course. I'll tell you what though, uh, I'll do you a deal. 
So last year I made a course myself and I didn't want to tread on the toes of Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course or his self-publishing 101 because, you know, they're brilliantly put together courses. Whatever I put together, I felt, you know, would be inferior to what they offer. But there were certain things that I wish I had known or had been explained to me in a different way uh, immediately after studying Mark Dawson's course, which would have helped me get started earlier. So I created a course that basically filled in the blanks uh, and all the things that I wish I'd known. And um, I'll do you a deal that if you decide to buy Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course and you use that link down below, shoot me uh, the email that you actually bought the course with, uh, shoot me a link to that and I'll have my email address down there or some kind of link to contact me. And I will give you a copy of my course, my entire course, which normally retails for a hundred dollars uh, for free. And I think that course in conjunction with Mark Dawson's course can be really, really valuable. I've just tried to give everything you need to be in a situation to get the most out of Mark Dawson's huge course. And I will quite happily give that to you for free because if you use the link down below, I get a cut of the money. Uh, which means I still get paid for, for giving you my course for free. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but hopefully my course, in addition to Mark Dawson's course, will be useful to you. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, best of luck in your self-publishing career. Keep the faith. Keep on going. I'm really excited because I am more than 4,000 words into a new story that I haven't been writing for a long time. So we will see how that works out. I will make another video soon. Cheerio. I'm Roland Hume. I've sold 67,000 copies of my books. If you want to find out how I did it, I've got the link right here you can click. And otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. I've got more videos coming soon. Thank you.